welcome to Mass Effect. Uh, we're still playing Resident Evil 4, so don't worry about that. Literally, don't worry about that. That won't stop. I just really wanted to play another game at the same time, and I figured... I've been bouncing between a few, like Red Dead Redemption 2, and this, and getting back to Cyberpunk. Uh, but Cyberpunk has a DLC coming out, so I figured maybe I'll jump back on when that releases. So, I chose this. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna try and do all three. We'll see. Because I also plan on recording Boulder's Gate 3 and recording Starfield when it releases. So, very massive games, all of them. Um, with, you know, not a lot of time because I just do this for fun. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Maybe I'll be playing a whole lot more and dropping a lot more recordings. We'll see. It, it's also really based on if I have the time. So. Um. Credits. No. Uh, I was hoping to go to the settings menu. I guess we're just starting it. Um, because the music is extremely loud and I also don't like having music on when I'm playing my games. And who knows, I might play everyone's favorite after this, you know, Andromeda. <laughs> I know people don't like motion blur, so I guess I'll turn it off, even though I don't like having it off for sustainability get rid of this so loud it's ridiculous Uh, no, I guess we'll just use legendary mode for this. Subtitles off? Why do games start that way? I don't know anybody that doesn't use subtitles, even when they're not recording, just for regular gameplay. Um, alright. Let's start a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Profile reconstruction. 
Due to your covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity, identity, identity from the records below or register manually. Uh, well, obviously, you know. You have John Shepard, Jane Shepard, but we're making our own Shepard. So we're going to enter a new ID. Uh, custom female. And we're going to be Alice Shepard. Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindor, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Ah, the childhood trauma. <laughs> that, that's, that's the bloodthirsty person, I guess. <laughs> Or uh, the, the 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 stereotypical bloodthirsty person, they 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 enlist because they they're just like I have to kill because they killed. Earthborn, you are an orphan raised on the streets of the great meta megatropolises, covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military. When you turned 18. Let, let, let's go the traumatized route. Why not? That's pretty fucked up, but... Confirm psychological profile. Soul survivor. I mean, I technically am labeled as one that, according to the colonist thing. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation... You had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Once again, traumatizing experiences. War Hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming, overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculated, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option... The military always goes to you first. We're gonna go ruthless. Confirm military specialization. Oh my gosh. I believe this is uh, our class that we will be using. Soldier. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types. Start with the ability to wear medium armor. <laughs> Sorry. And can train in the use of heavy armor. Ooh! I like weapons and armor. Engineers are tech specialists. Using the holographic Omni tool, they can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Ew, healing. Engineers can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Gross. Adept. Adepts are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Gross. Infiltrator. 
The infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. The infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and defensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. I don't like sniper rifles. The other things seem a bit nice, but specializing in pistols? Man, no. Sentinel. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. No. Vanguard. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and <coughs> shotguns and wear medium armor. Cool. I usually... When I played this originally, my shepherd was a vanguard. And that's just because I had like a different mindset of how I played back then. I was, I had a medium period where I was also like more of a healer in things. Uh, but I've reached the phase in my life where I like using heavy weapons, heavy armor, fire, explosives. So we're going to go soldier. Confirm facial identification. We're going to change our appearance. <coughs> uh, oh. Interesting. Complexion. Interesting. Okay. Eye shape. <laughs> wide, very wide eyes. Mm, iris color. Do they have piss yellow in here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Sort of have greens, but I guess we'll go with this one. Jaw, no, mouth. Uh, mouth shape. They're all very similar. Mouth lip size. Okay. Nose. Nose shape. That's interesting. Let's do that one. Hair. Oh, hair color. I usually either go with like silver or red or some really like extreme cat color, hair color. Um, Shepherd, I believe, is either like auburn or brown, naturally. Uh. Ow, sorry. Excuse me. Let's go with this one here. Hair type.
It's like skipping hair styles. I don't know. I wish it'd stop fucking flying across the board. I don't like this one. Brow. <laughs> Why does she look sad? Or worried? Let's look worried the entire time. I think that'd be pretty funny. Your eyebrows are usually a darker color, right? Like a shade darker. That's a thing, right? I'm pretty certain it is. Makeup? Uh, no. Oh, well, eyeshadow... I think, uh... What is it? Cat eye? Or... Raccoon eyes. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, we'll keep that. Scar. I think uh, scars around the eyes are like one of my favorite things to see on people. I guess we'll go with the first one. That one. Yeah, it looks fine. Uh, finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. Cool. This is Alice Shepard, everybody. This is gonna be us. We're gonna go take on the fucking Geth and shit. <laughs> Identification confirmed. We're gonna leave combat normal because this is a big game. Um, if it was smaller and a lot more linear. Then I'd go for a more challenging experience. Um. Oh yeah, fuck auto level up. I'm gonna choose that myself. Uh. See, so this says that this is levels 1 to 30, while the other one is levels 1 to 60. I wonder... Let's just do legendary mode, right? It doesn't exactly say that there's anything added besides more levels, right? XP and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. That's all it is. So... Defensive. All? What the hell is all mean? Only use defensive powers to protect themselves. Oh. Well then, yeah, let's make them as aggressive as possible. Why the hell would I not use that? I want my squad mates to be brutal. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. <laughs> I'm the only one. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization in the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed starting with new technologies, enabling time travel, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology 
is lost to me because I couldn't finish reading that, but I'm sure you can pause the video. The Arcturus Prime Relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. <laughs> Shut up! That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry. <laughs> Joker, Sorry. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <laughs> you made him mad. Yeah, I heard it. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Interesting. Did you say he? <sighs> Mission computer logs. We got codexes where we can read about shit. Ooh. I'm probably not gonna look at any of that. It still says I have shit there. Wait, what? Uh, I don't believe I have any squad mates. Um, it looks like I have points to spend, though. <laughs> I do not have a lot here. Interesting. Uh... Intimidation tactics. Nice. Uh, let's just put it all into intimidate, I guess. It's not like we have much of it. Good. 
ಇದೆ Okay, that activates my gun. Equipment. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now left me a voicemail. Um... Can't do anything with this, so told you I just saw him. He marked file like he was on a mission. Inspector, they're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Yeah. I heard you are the ring. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you caused it. I have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Really? What do you mean? You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run. It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Uh, cover, you say? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Hmm. I concur. Or I agree. Now concur. Uh... <laughs> you what do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. He does. I technology. can't skip this. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? Plus, there's Nihilus. Oh, I can it's skip this. The shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. All right. Ask about, about the captain. Pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, man. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. Oh my. Don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Mm. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was quite long ago, though. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No. Uh, depending on Nihilus's age, I guess he could. It makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Mm. Uh, just keep doing your job. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. I know the cliche of like, oh, let's be nice to the the NPCs and blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Uh, I do do that, but I want to see in this run. If what happens if uh, we choose the kind of aggressive route? What do you think, Commander? 
We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Uh, yeah, the doc's right, dude. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Ah, so you decided you needed to become gun happy. Cool, 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 cool. I, I... <sighs> I can understand it. Um, what are we doing? What are we going? Why are we going there? Can Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. It's just another mission, dude. Chill out. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Uh... What? This dude, like, thinks this shit is a game to him. <laughs> uh, don't play the hero, dude. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. You hear his voice? He's so jittery. Dude wants to shoot something. Like, he's admitted it, basically. The captain's waiting for me. <laughs> Goodbye! Commander. Interesting, interesting. Oh, wait, can I talk to her separately? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Nope. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Interesting. They both have a, a chat bumble, but... Oh. You're not the captain, Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Uh, where's Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh... What? Yeah, we cut straight through it. What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Oh? Wow. You guys don't hide it very well. My whole crew is spectating that. 
Uh, yeah, that's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Uh. Fuck why they should have told me. What are we getting? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. <gasps> bacon? It was Prothean. I don't like bacon. Prothean? What the fuck is that? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy oh, that's not what I thought she would say. <laughs> the mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Oh, Really? Uh... <laughs> Fuck you, we don't need your help here. Kicks him off the ship. Sends him out the airlock. Uh, why wouldn't the council need to be told? And then the council. So let's go with you. Sound worried? Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Even when he now takes his shit, he's expecting a combat. Evaluate you. With the shit. What? Uh. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh! <gasps> He put my name in there? The Turian Spectre? Whoa. What if I refuse? Fuck your offer. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Hell yeah! What if I... I <laughs> like the, the same options. Uh... Fuck the captain's support. What am I... What's next? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their mm. citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Oh, really? Mm. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? 
We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Uh, wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Gotcha. Let's do this. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Terrifying, that, don't no you think? At all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Cool. Look, nobody's talking about what the fuck is that? <laughs> Engaging stealth systems. Unknown ship. Someone who's doing some huge. serious digging here, Captain. Nah. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Damn. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Check out the squad because everybody's got points, right? Uh... Let's put his points in the Sentinel so he can use his abilities more often. Um, Jenkins uh, has soldier. Combat arm. Oh, he has assault rifles. Assault training. So let's do that. And. Let's do his assault rifle. Wow. Cool. No overheating. Nice. Love it. I don't have points.
So I believe I have every gun. Because I chose soldier. And it said they use oh grenades. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. But um Oh, what was I about to say? Oh, I love the ship design in all of them, but I prefer Mass Effect 1's uh, Normandy just because of how it maneuvers. It just looks so much cooler and more not thought out because there's reasons for the changes in 2 and 3, and hopefully we'll get to those so you see it. I'm sure you've watched plenty of other people play this game and you're just like, oh, I already fucking know, shut up. So, <laughs> um, but we're gonna, oh, what is, I just realized, uh, I can see their shit. What do they have? Assault rifle, uh, Omni tool, Bionic amp, where's his armor? Then we have Jenkins. He has assault rifle, shotgun, pistol, sniper, armor. Oh, he's just a, a standalone soldier, this kind of, kind of like me. Um, but I have grenades, so we're gonna end it there. Obviously, we didn't do much. We made that. We made our character. We made Alice. We uh, talked a little with um, the captain and. Cyrus? Cyrus? Right? I already forget his name. Oh, Silas. I think. Uh, the Spectre. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for that. Not much, I guess, combat content, but, you know, I think it was fun for the moment. Um, so, yeah. When we return, we'll uh, scour the planet, see if there's any survivors, try and get that beacon, and see what the fuck is going on. Until then, keep it safe. Goodbye.